guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nalina Nadine here, and I got Carmela and Betty. So, wait, <laughs> yes, Betty. Uh, <laughs> this is not the day that you're Wonder Woman or Supergirl. It's just a different channel. Girl. Keep that in. Oh, you think I'm really gonna edit any of this? No, keep that in. <laughs> so, today's topic is pretty much talking about personal growth, whether it be you personally education wise work wise just growth so who would like to go first well i think we're doing it three 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 way right yeah so grace is going to talk about personal growth in terms of her education and um yeah education and lifestyle wise. lifestyle wise and that you're going to cover what I think personal growth just as just me as myself versus like how I was when I was younger and how I am now. Makes sense because yeah. you've changed a lot since I met you. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about personal oh, growth business wise, like in terms of your career. Yep. Yeah, she's changed I a know. lot. I think about, I did. Yeah, she never used I'm to talking. wear glasses or have ponytail. Wow. Wow. Okay, no. <laughs> That's so who's going to go first, yo, Grace? I'm not going go. first because no? honestly, I need to put my thoughts together. Just put her thoughts together. Since I like, what does that look like? A, uh, what is it called? Uh, you can't put your thoughts together if you're looking at things That's over there. True. What is she looking at anyway? The black know. thing. It looks like a. I think like they a... need to clean this. There's too many cigarette butts in it. Anyways, personal growth <laughs> in terms of career. Hi. Hi, <laughs> <Hi>, fellas. Hi. <laughs> in terms of career, so approximately five years ago. Well, let's go a little further back. Five and a half years ago, I was promoted in my job um, to a management position. And then I did that job in the store that I was in for six months. And then one day I was told that I was going to be transferred to a, another store far, far, far away from me. And I remember being very distraught because it was I was so comfortable where I was. It was very new for me still. And I didn't want to travel this far travel as far as I had to travel to get to work mm -hmm. but I came here um, I was terrified at first because of the place that I came to was really you know horrible at the time so I was like oh my god I'm being punished what's going on why am I being sent here right because you come from a place that's beautiful and you go to a place that's not so beautiful and you're like but did I do something wrong anyways I realized it wasn't because I did anything wrong it was because I still needed to grow in that position and being where I was I wasn't gonna learn what I could learn from being in a smaller atmosphere with less people to, 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 to do the work for me I had to learn to do it myself so I came here or to the new place that I went to and in that five years of working in this new environment I've learned so much I've learned the job itself really well I grew so much I had to I had to learn to run my own business. I had to learn how to, to, to track sales. I had to learn how to, to manage uh, associates, difficult personalities, good personalities, shy personalities. I had to learn all of those things and I learned that so well in this environment in the last five years. And then learning that and growing that and growing myself and growing, with, and growing the associates that I worked with catapulted me into uh, the next level of my growth where I'm now actually going to leave again and as bittersweet as it is I've grown to the point where I need to go beyond where I am now and go back and then continue to grow and do bigger and better things you know for the next cycle in my life so basically what it boils down to is in your professional life or your business life don't be afraid to take chances don't be afraid to grow. Don't be afraid of change is the most important thing. And never get too comfortable. Right. Because yeah. you get. I got comfortable. Super. Super comfortable with the people that I work <laughs> with. That is well, very difficult. Amazing, so. It's heartbreaking. It's true. It's like literally it's heartbreaking for her that you can literally see her face and yeah. tell that she's like so emotional. But she's not even going to show it. That's how bad it is. Yeah. I will show it closer to the time that I leave. Yeah. But for me, I still haven't fully accepted, accepted it yeah. so it doesn't you could tell it's on my face I'm preoccupied by it but it's not fully sunk in yet but like you said when you do get close to people and you have to change and you have to move away from them it is very difficult it is. but don't it shouldn't be a reason that you, you you fear the growth or fear the change because in the end people who 
are a part of you, will always be a part of you no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. And if they are truly your friend and you are truly their friend, that shouldn't change no matter where you work mm -hmm. or who you work with. Those things should always be the same. But you just keep growing and life just keeps changing and you just keep doing bigger and better things, right? Yeah. And the further you grow, the easier it is for you to be around the people that you care about because you never know, you may come back and work with them again or you may do something that benefits them and they can come and work for you, whatever the case may be. As long as those people and those relationships are genuine, it doesn't disappear if you, if you go away to somewhere else. So growth is important, guys. Don't be afraid of it. It's good change change happens for a reason and there's always something in the horizon so as that was my as long as it's a positive growth it's a yeah, positive growth as long as it's a positive uh, if it wasn't positive i literally would not leave like it if it was like something that doesn't make sense it would be like i'm not going anywhere i'll change myself to where i am mm -hmm. but it's a positive growth and it's also a way to strengthen your relationships with people that and i want to i want to say this yeah you can be close to people that you work with but then not really be close to them. Those are the people you're close to because you see them, like how they say, I'm close to these people at school because I see them five days a week. Yeah. So what happens when school is over? Then you, there's no more contact, there's no more yeah. communication. And that's why I'm saying for me, the learning lesson's gonna be here is when I do go to this other place to work, am I really a true friend? Am I mm -hmm. gonna really continue to be friends with these people? That's, that's gonna be me, that's on me to see how much do I really care or am I just lip service yeah and then also for these for the people that I'm leaving behind if they are truly my friends and the relationship that we develop together you know are they we are we going to keep that line of communication open because I'm not leaving the planet exactly <laughs> yeah you know, because you're gone doesn't mean we still can't country. call you or text you or whatever right it's just so, like you're in different locations yeah, yeah right that's it. and so in that sense, it'll be interesting to see where my true friendships really lie because true. that's how you're going to find out when that's you, how you actually grow. Your true mm -hmm. And that's if these true. people stay, if we stay close, then we are really actually friends. It's not just because you see me at work. It's because we're actually friends. And I'm a very loyal friend, so I'm going to say that if I make a promise to commit to the friendship, I will do my part. Yeah. It's up to the other to do their part. And yep. then that's when I will know who are my friends and who aren't my friends. Exactly. And so, and so, so growth is good as long as it's good and it's positive. Mm -hmm. and that's my growth in terms of... Um, um, Business-wise. Business. Yeah. Yeah. you got to keep growing. You can't stay in the same place. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't make any sense. I guess I'll start with like talking about like personal growth where I feel like my growth over time is like how you said like I've changed a lot since I was younger like when I was younger like I used to be more quiet I used to be shy I didn't really want to like speak up for myself or try new things like I was really in like a sheltered bubble but it's after me and new people and it's after growing like a lot more like with different experiences where I had to learn for myself was like I can't stay sheltered I can't stay hidden like behind closed doors like you know let everyone decide for me and not decide for myself as like just I need to get out there I need to try new things and make things happen for myself because at the end of the day no one's gonna do it for you if you want it you have to do it yourself and so what would you say was the number one thing that happened to you like what's the, the biggest change that's happened to you so far so yeah. far that, that and, and who do you attribute yeah. that to like is that just was that you were you influenced like I think, I don't know if there's one factor, I think it's just over time, there's like certain influences and like my mentality changed. I feel like just, even like getting to know you guys, like kind of helped me get out of my shell more, but it's like, it's definitely just the influence and then like changing my mentality where it's like, okay, I can't stay the same person. If mm -hmm. something wasn't working before, you definitely need to fix it. Mm -hmm. And I don't, for me, I just don't feel like there's something specific, but I just feel like me as a person, like I'm opening up more, I'm starting to speak up more, I'm starting to do a lot of new things. Like even this summer, I said this would be like my kind of technically my rebellious summer because <laughs> I keep rebellious serious. for her is like she doesn't have salt on her French fries. <laughs> Like, oh, like, oh my god, I can't have salt. No. Like, that's, okay. that's bad. <laughs> Not that bad. Like, the angriest I saw her was that she didn't get her sweet and sour sauce in her bag and she marched back. That's a little bad. She's like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yo. She's and you don't want to see that. Straw. She got two drinks with one, one straw. straw. 
Like, never mind that she didn't check that, but like the person, like seriously, you, you gave someone two drinks and you gave them one drop. Two different drinks. That's too. probably not the job for you. I'm just no, the thing is, I always say you don't. You never want to see me mad. I'm not a person who gets mad, but if you like pass person, my yeah. limit, yo, you will get cussed, and I've done it before. Mm -hmm. And Maya has seen it where I've stood there and I just cussed someone. She's like, whoa, are you okay? I've never seen she it. She had to pull yeah, me away. I've never it. seen it before, too. Yeah. I don't think I want to see but I love you to don't. see it. Yeah, I don't want to like, see it up close. Maybe yeah, from far. far? But like, okay, let me record it. Let me from see. far, so she was scared. Yeah. Like, Damn, that's Natalie. Yeah. yeah. You know? From far, she was scared. She's like, girl, what the hell happened? What did I miss? Yeah. Was that a part of your growth or is that something that you've always been like? That, that? was a part of my growth. Because I used to just keep everything inside. I would let people walk over me and they end up running the show. And this was actually in grade 12 where this girl thought because of my personality, she can just do whatever she wanted to do. And it was a assembly organization I was running. And I'm like, no, you're not gonna do that because first of all, you're someone, you know, you don't come to practice. You pick and choose if you wanna be in it or not based on your mood. And then all of a sudden you're gonna come and run things like you own the place. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do that. And she started to like fight back with me because she realized, oh shit, like she's not backing down. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh god, I put up a one cuss, you see? Good for you. Yo. I put up one cuss, you see? Yeah, <laughs> you see? She, she, that. That. <laughs> she put up one cuss, not two, but, but one, one cuss. One. Yeah. She just kept going straight, no breaks in between. But no. She said it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. Go but I think up. it's just, it's a lot of personal growth. Even like going to school, and I went to a school, university where I really only had like one friend there. So I had to put myself outside the box and start to meet new people and realize I have to do this on my own. You have no one holding your hand for you. No. You don't have someone walk you back and forth and babysit you and tell you, you need to do this, you need to do that. You have to decide, okay, I need to get this done. I know I need to get this done, but I need to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a lot of mentality changes and like surrounding myself with better people who bring out certain certain spots in me, but they're not in a negative way. It's more yes. in a positive way. Yes. You yeah. never want to be surrounded by negativity because no. negative people bring negative aura into mm -hmm. your life. So you always want to try to look at your friends and make sure that they're positive, as positive as they can be. Yeah. Because, you know, not everybody's going to be happy every day. No. But you don't want to be around someone who's beyond yeah. happy ever. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. You have to know who your real friends are and if those people aren't benefiting you, if they just bring negative vibes yeah. to your life, yeah, my you mom need used to, to cut say it, that just all cut the time. it. My mom used to say that to me all the time. Yeah. My mom, Look at the people in your life. Yeah, and my mom used to tell me, like, if you want to be around positive people, you need those people who are speaking positive, yeah. positivity in your life. Mm -hmm. like, if, we're, if we're going together, all of us have to grow together. So yeah. It's just not only you. Like, and you're not going to have someone well piggyback like, off you. You have to grow. Yeah. It doesn't, you can't always, you can't really grow on your own. Yeah. No. You're grow, you grow based on like, the If I'm doing good, I need my friends to do good. Yeah. If my friends are eating good, I need to eat good too, exactly you know I mean? so both of you guys can build up and grow, and grow together, together. Mm -hmm. it can't just be oh my friend is here suffering like struggling and yeah. i'm here like oh my god yes I'm yeah exactly. so much good things i'm or not gonna the, let you pick or, it back you but i'm gonna help you get up with me you're gonna yeah. work for that or you're yeah. gonna be going up the ladder together, together. Yeah. and you have some of those people like you know how they say misery misery loves company yes you have people who in order to feel better about themselves well be friends with people who have worse situations mm. and then they just feed off the fact that they can feel better about themselves because you're your worse yeah. off yeah and well, that's, that's again good. not someone you want to be surrounding yourself with people who take pleasure in yeah. your in your in your just because both of you guys are suffering but you mm -hmm. guys don't see that because you see yourself oh i'm i'm, I'm not that bad she's yeah. in a worse position than other person and then that makes you feel way. better which is exactly. yeah. so you guys are never gonna have that like um understanding where okay we're not in the and the level we're supposed to be why can't we do something different like mm -hmm. move up a little bit more do something different about our lives like if your lifestyle is this way and it's not benefiting you any other way yeah. why don't you do, make a plan like a b c d start from like baby steps it takes baby steps to, um to get whatever you want to go is you should always have that plan a make sure that plan works. Yeah. don't ever think oh there's gonna be a plan b no it's always a plan. You stick to plan A and make sure it works. Yeah, you're right. Because if you have a plan B, then, then that you're going to be expecting oh, yeah. your plan A you're not to work. You're expecting, you're you're expecting that work. failure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't believe in yourself. You don't expect it at all. But there's like, oh, I can always do it another time. No, no. you have to do it right now. Exactly. If this yeah. one, if you, if you feel, if you have that faith in you that you're going to do it, you're actually going to do it. If you think about, oh, what if I don't do it? What if I don't? You're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem with a lot of people. They always assume, oh, there's always the next time. Yeah. There's always the next time. It shouldn't be like that. Yeah. I feel like another thing is like also taking chances and taking risks. Another thing I feel like when you grow with, 
where it's like you have to start taking those chances if you want to do something just do it and another thing for me is i stop really caring what people think mm -hmm. people's opinion what they say i will ask you all get like a little input one too yeah. but don't let people's decision define you mm -hmm. and make you choose what you're going to do you can't do things based off other people's um decisions or else you're going to yeah. fail by their opinions and i'm going to tell yourself. you it's good that you know that at the age that you're at because it took me till very late in my life to realize that I shouldn't really care what other people think of me. I should Honestly. just care what I think yeah. of myself. And if I'm doing something that makes me happy, that's the way, that's good, mm -hmm. right? And other people are, we're not here to judge mm -hmm. each other, but there are people who are very judgmental. Yes. And if I were to live my life based on how people judge me, you I wouldn't, wouldn't be wearing this are. hoodie right now. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you know, just, okay, I don't want that. Yeah, that's you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, there's going to be people judging, people judge you on how you look, yeah. how you speak. Personal growth comes from not caring what other mm -hmm. people think. It comes just and not comes from envying you and emulating other think. people. Yeah. Yeah. Just because that person, oh my gosh, looks like they have the best life. Especially a lot of people like to emulate what they see on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, that yeah. person looks so good. It's not, that person is choosing to show you that one picture from their life, that 10 seconds. You don't know what else goes on behind closed doors. Yeah. Like, they could look like Chewbacca, but they will show that <laughs> one day. They yeah. will look like Nicki Minaj and be like, no. Because I always feel like Chewbacca's ugly. So, like, that's a good reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, isn't he like a, a bear or an animal? I didn't Chewbacca, want to answer that right? one. It's an animal. Don't even start with me because y'all didn't even know who Godzilla was. <laughs> they thought Godzilla was a monkey. Hey, okay. a like a gorilla or something. I don't know. Like it ain't gorilla. no gorilla. It's Godzilla. Gorilla. My goodness. Gorilla, Godzilla. Gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. Great. Don't think you got off the hook because you got to tell us about no, your no, personal no, no. Okay, growth. So my personal growth, it's kind of similar to what she said, but mine's more like, I was a little bit talkative, but not really that much. Like, if I had a problem with someone, or someone must have said something concerning me. I was that type of person to let it go or assume like, I didn't want to get like both sides like or here, like, okay, whoever said this about me or whoever said this about me. Mm -hmm. I was never that person to actually be like, okay, let me just get to the root of it and know like what happened. I was just the only person to be like, okay, I'm going to take someone's word for it yeah. and go with the flow, yeah, right? And I wish I could do that. I should straight to the person. And that, <laughs> on yeah, yeah. that, that, to me, within time, I, find, I figured that that's like the wrong way to go about like solving situations or figuring out like what happened. So, mm -hmm. within the short period of time, especially talking to you, made me realize that before I actually jump into conclusions or like ignore someone, I actually find out like what happened or how the conversation came up. Wait, happened. pause. If y'all didn't realize, we go to Carmelo with like as our voice of reason, yeah. like being the older one, like. She's literally. like the wise person that we always come to. Yeah, literally. So in case you wonder why we always do these videos with her, <laughs> is we're getting that like that older, mature point of view. Yeah. Versus like our point of view, kind of get like all sides to a story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So pretty much. Uh, she meant take the world older out. She just meant mature, yeah. wiser, wiser. Although yeah, if you add both older. their ages together, it still doesn't equal mine. But that's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyway. Go ahead. It's actually kind of true. It's kind of sad, actually. But anyways, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, and she's our manager. Say, she's the only hey. person that I can actually like. For w once, I'll say there was this incident that happened where people that I were close to me said something behind my back, and I didn't really look into it and find out the whole situation. But I went to talk to her, and she's like, "Oh, the best thing to do is just to like lay low about it." and just let the situation go and like, don't let it get to you because me before it's not everything like, is yeah, a reaction yeah, yeah like before like i would, if someone tells me something i'll just react to it and be like you know what i don't care i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk to that person mm -hmm. just have that anger in me and the little things just i build up more anger and it gets more and more like the more situations like the more problems people come with i just build it up a little bit slowly slowly and slowly and then i snap at the and then end you explode, right yeah yeah and that was like the worst thing like i could literally be sitting in my house think about everything people mm -hmm. did to me and i'll start breaking down i'm like yeah i've had serious? those moments yeah because yeah. i never really had i was never really that open to talk to people about my problems or my situations no. but within time i was able to open up and be like you know what if I actually just tell someone my, one of my problems, let me see how I feel after mm -hmm. that. And slowly by slowly, I've been opening it up to like my situations, personal life, 
and that makes me feel good. Speak a little bit more of the beeping. Oh, yeah. it makes me feel a, a little bit more, right? Because I'm like, if I can open up to this person and they're telling me something that actually makes me feel like, wow, what was that? Wasn't I doing this from before? Exactly. You know what I mean? Then all this trouble and all the crying that I've been doing so long time ago would have been over. Like I wouldn't need to worry about it. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my personal growth that I can realize. Education-wise, was I, I really wanted to do nursing, and I still. I'm doing nursing. Last year I started summertime and I was so into it but like the worst that like, the mistake I made was go to summer school. Oh, the reason wow. being because it was a full it was not even part time, it was full time. Mm -hmm. And the thing is at summertime there's so much things going on. You wanna work, you wanna like explore. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. Like it's at hard first, to focus yeah, on. at first it was easy because it's like the easy stuff there like introducing it to the basics mm -hmm. and then after it just got overwhelming i'm yeah. not even gonna lie like i used to go home i'm like you know what i don't even care like, it's like I'm you're just even... too tired for yeah it. like you're too tired for it like half of the time i'm like honestly i look at my assignment i'm like i'm not gonna do this yeah <laughs> i just sleep. Yeah. i'm like or i'm just gonna do it tomorrow and then i kept on extending it and extending it and i'm like oh my god it's last minute and i start yeah. to rush mm -hmm. and that's like the worst thing i came to realize in high school is different from college and university. Yeah, absolutely. Because now you're getting serious and it's yeah. you're in life now. Like, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie, like, I was stressed. It's like, it's harder. super different, it's harder. It's like, discipline. in high school, it's high school is one of those ones, like, teachers will pass you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you like just get on like, like honestly, I don't like you. I just want you to when you I feel up that forty nine there. I just want you to that fifty. That's true. It's yeah. like you know, Camilla, you call my science class, so I need to pass you. <laughs> in college, you can still go to. Wait, the did teacher. that happen? Yeah. Really? <laughs> did they hated you? Well, they had this Bunsen burner. I don't know if you guys have ever do you guys still use yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we had to use it for a project in school in science class, and I don't think I used it properly. <laughs> so it kind of exploded in the classroom, and then he passed me. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I, he's and like, I fell asleep a couple. The man said, the line. man's like this. This is what the man said. I'm not trying to have this girl kill us today, so I'm yeah. just gonna pass her. So she can That's what he said. Get he out. said, you know what? Yeah, you need to go. You know what they ended up putting me in? Social science. That's how they knew it. Just yeah. because I had science in the title, <laughs> just so that I could get a science credit. Wow. Wow. But yes, yeah. your growth and your education yeah. and realizing so that much. it's not easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. like in college, I came to realize like you can show the teachers that you really are trying, but that's not good enough for them. You know what no. I mean? Because you no. trying and then you going to them doesn't mean you're actually doing other work outside whatever they're trying yes. to do. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you being in class, you're going to help. I mean, you're going to ask for them. It's good. But it's not good enough. No, no. you have to be able to. Yeah. So you can apply. Can, you can yeah. apply to real life because that's what you're doing. Exactly. Because the majority of the time, it's like you know how high school it's eighty twenty, in college it's like twenty eight. Mm -hmm. So eighty percent is what I have to do, and twenty percent is what the teachers mm -hmm. have to do. Yeah. So honestly, this I was still supposed to be in school this summer, and I was like, honestly, no. I'm just gonna work. At least go on vacation or do a one two. Before I want to like try to like do like explore a little bit more since oh, I didn't have that last summer. Yeah, what's the one? That's like I want to. I want to. Like you know, one two exploration. Like my like my like rebellious summer. Yeah, like I went on vacation. I really wanted to go on vacation last year, so that's why I think I was even more stressed. I was like, yo, I didn't even get to go. You need you need that mental break. Because my sister went on vacation, and I was here stuck in books, and we still had work. Like you know what I mean? Back and forth, it was just stressing me out. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just take this summer off school, do something more productive this summer, mm -hmm. and then that made me realize that you know what? If I go back to school in September, I want to dedicate everything I have to mm -hmm. that because I already spoiled myself this summer by going yeah, on vacation, and that makes sense. So you needed that yeah. time that where time you can enjoy, to, yeah. That's enjoy right life now, a yeah. little bit, having mm -hmm. been in school, and then now when you get that little bit out of your system, yeah, so you I'm, can when sit I go back and to school, you can focus. Yeah, like my mind will be more refreshed. I'll be like, you know what? Yeah. Now you get back to the dry, and that's better because you'll end up having better marks. Better yeah. marks and exactly. actually learn and understand. Yeah, what you're exactly. Learning. And I wouldn't have to worry about oh, next summer I'll just be working more hard and harder. So like I don't even have to worry about summer school. I can just work and just go back to yeah. the same routine. Absolutely. That's pretty much what like my education growth is kind of based on. It's just like, don't rush into things. Don't exactly. rush into the fact, like, I no. took a year off, so I was rushing to go back to school, because I'm like, honestly, I'm sick and tired of staying home. I just want to go to school. So I was like, okay, summertime, cool. Yeah. Let me go back. But like, I didn't really think about it. Important for young people think to understand. Think twice about it. Just don't rush yeah, into it, just because like, you feel like, if you want to take two years off, honestly, take your two years off before you go to school. 
Not saying you should take two years off, but I'm just saying because tuition is not cheap. That's a that's another Books thing too. Are not cheap. Where it's like, don't follow, everyone has their own path, nah. everyone has their own timing yeah. for things. So just because this person did this in four years, they got all this, yeah. they got all that, it's you, not you're, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be the same for you. Everyone has, everyone has their own like preset timing that we don't yeah. know about, but you know, spirits, God, whoever, they know when you're when supposed to get some perfect right. timing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you'll know it within yourself. Yeah. So don't be pressured or feel stressed because yeah. Oh, we are friends, yeah. and school. she's in school, but and I'm, I'm not. not. Oh no. my God, you know, like, am I stupid? Why am no. I not in school? And Girl, she's as in long school. as you're working, you're whatever's comfortable. Yeah, whatever's yeah. comfortable for you, whatever's going to eventually benefit you. The exactly. important thing here is to understand that yes, take that time to get to know yourself or to enjoy yeah. a little bit of life. But make sure that you understand that education is continuously important. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't mean oh, let's go out there and you know, yeah, and, and just then never go back to school. Fuck up. Don't do that. Don't do this it. day and age, yeah. education is important. It's important to be informed. It's important to be educated. It's important to know what's going on around you. Exactly. There's always that advantage of you having higher education more than high school. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you need the time to think about it, take the time to think about it. Don't just jump into a yeah. program you don't want to do because, one, you won't be happy. You won't get those marks. You won't want to do the work. And you'll most likely waste the money by either, one, dropping out yeah. or continuously switching programs and yep. pretty much never graduate. Yep. If you need that time, take that time to decide or if you're in the middle of the school year and you know you're just it's about to have a breakdown take that semester off take that year off get yourself together get your thoughts together and do what you have to do but your health comes first but always know your education still got to come at some point you need that you're not going to get that far in life without it yeah, yeah there's that one in a million person who dropped out of school and got to where they got to but don't think because they dropped out of school they didn't do their work those people are studying at the sides doing whatever they want to do at the side doing their research to get their business popping yeah honestly at the end of the day education is in there and I see like what you said I hate when I hear people say this oh well that guy dropped out of school but they're rich that's yeah. dumb that's not you you don't know what connect they have in between mm -hmm. for them yeah like that guy dropped out of school you don't know what their school. story the, is the Facebook he's a, guy he's a successful rapper like the Facebook guy Simon who, Cowell yeah. well can you rap well no American, American Idol, Idol. <laughs> American Idol. <laughs> American Idol. <laughs> American Idol. I'm thinking Mark Zuckerberg yeah, he dropped out of school yeah right university yeah and the man's a millionaire it's 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 you know he may not have been uh, well, he was book smart, smart though, but yeah. he had the special something that was going to get him where he needed to go. And mm -hmm. at he the end of the day, drive. it's called he had the drive. He had yeah. the ambition, and he didn't need he wanted to accomplish what he wanted. Yeah. And he got it. And he, and he got, got it. it. Yeah. So, I mean, everybody has a different path, mm -hmm. right? But, and yeah, you don't need to go like, you don't need to go to Yale or Harvard or, or university, yeah. but just make sure you got some education in yeah. you. Uh, or no you one's think, saying yeah. that you have to spend, you know, $75,000 and go to school for 17 years. You know, if you're not happy and you're just doing it because you feel, there's too many people in life that mm. do things because they feel it's what's supposed to be done. Yeah. You know, and we, we act like robots that way where we do things because it's what's told and will make You need happy. to be a lawyer. You need to be a doctor. You right. need to do this. You like, need to have no. a house. You need to have a car. You need to have two kids and a dog and a white picket fence. I can't even believe people still say that. <laughs> like, you need to have these things to be happy. How many people? I don't know anyone. Like, I see people all the time that spend millions of dollars or thou hundreds of thousands of dollars on their house and they're never in it. Yeah, yeah. That's so right? Like, they spend all this money, buy a home that they're never in. They're always out mm -hmm. at the end of the day. What makes you happy? Know what makes you happy, right? And that's what you go for, what makes you happy. 